What? Cut my hair. Six burns there. What are you doing? This is what the Lord says. Cut your hair, divide it into three parts. One part shall burn, the other part shall be cut with a knife. The rest should be scattered to the land. So will the people of the nation. They will know that I am God. Few will be spared, though, and will be reestablished. You know, I think I believe you, but everyone else here thinks you're crazy. Let them. I'm just doing what I'm told to do. Why? Oh, right. Because you're the great and mighty prophet. What about the guy on the radio? He seems legit, right? Let me tell you something about that guy. On the radio. He's whitewashing a wall that'll soon collapse. He's a liar, and, he, and he's gonna get his. Even. What are you doing now? The people of the nation have done many evil things in the sight of the Lord. Judgment shall come to them. World shall rage, and the people will be hungry, and they will know that God is the Lord. Whatever. Oh, what's he doing? I don't know. He really might be crazy. What if he's right? Did you watch that? Thank you. You know, I watch the news and I see how far we've come as a society. And I still see this white trash element that we can't rid ourselves of. And this vermin, these leeches on our society, on us, that's what's holding us back. We've got to make a concentrated effort to remove these people. Not to separate them, not to segregate them, but to remove them from society completely. For in so doing, then we will reach our potential. Then we will truly advance. These people are holding us back. And we have elements in our society that say, no, no. Feed them, throw money at them, educate them. I say, no. I say, do the common thing. Have sense. Eradicate the people. Remove them all together. They will be better off. Society will be better off. Think of the advances we could make without the burden of feeding and housing and attempting to educate these illiterate swine. There's where we need to move with society. There's the place for government.
sick. I've got an obsessive compulsive disorder and you see hallucinations. I don't know why. Maybe ate some moldy bread, but you have hallucinations. What they want you to think. It is not what they want us to think, it's the truth. We're sick. Even you, Ezekiel, you're sick. You can claim to talk to God all you want, but it doesn't change the fact. That you need help. I don't know what happened to your brother. Don't you talk about my brother. I'm sorry, but I saw it in a vision. You did not see it in a vision. And if you did, you could have told somebody, couldn't you? That proves you're sick. We're all sick in here. We're incurable. You know what they do in a regular mental hospital? Do you? They keep you on suicide watch. You can't take a shower by yourself. You can't piss by yourself. You can't even have cassette tapes because you might commit suicide. You know what they do here? They let me keep bleach in my room. They give me books like this to teach me how to kill myself because we're incurable. And all your God talk isn't going to change that. This is where we belong. This is where we'll die. And if you did talk to God, why didn't you stop it? They took everything from me. Everything. And God didn't care and neither did you. Don't talk about God and visions to me. You're sick.